Yeah, I'm just trying to. I asked Rob earlier how how the cold side's gonna work, and he said he was gonna pie cut it and come down through here. Yeah, there'll be a a Y right here. Yeah. It'll have to come out like a basically 90 degrees. It's pretty wicked. A couple 90s, put them together. And merge them into that. That's gonna have to be about a four inch right here. So what all have you guys done today so far? So Rob's been out here working on getting these pockets in the frame cut out. Um, putting the shock tabs on here, getting that straightened out, figuring out where we're going to need those to be to clearance for the headers. I didn't want to cut into the headers or modify them, so Rob took these tabs and cut them down a little bit, and that way they don't stick out and get into the headers so bad. Well, he was also telling me he relocated them because they'll have more stored energy yeah. when they're mounted like that, a little lower. Yeah, if they're lower like that, it's going to make it so the shock is more compressed at ride height. And before, there was a lot of that rod showing, and uh, it was already halfway extended at ride height, so that should give it a little more stored energy. Yeah, we were halfway up the collars before on to even get right height. Yeah. So there was really no stored energy that could be done in the spring. Plus it's couldn't. gonna give us a little more travel. Mm -hmm. Right now it's about full travel, so it's about the most we can get out of that upper control arm. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go any further. Unless we move remove this one bolt but I don't even think that's hitting I think it's something else and Rob's also gone over all this all this tubing and all the hard edges and smooth some stuff out it's looking a lot better Rob you said you plan on once we get everything like mocked up you're gonna take it back out and then like repaint everything and make it look real nice yeah we're gonna pull the motor out and uh pull everything off of this the subframe and POR 15 the whole thing so it matches the cage so it'll be real nice looking and we're gonna build a aluminum <coughs> polished aluminum firewall for it uh, that's pretty much it really it's gonna look freaking nice dude it's gonna look good everybody's asking what, what color are you gonna paint it or are you gonna wrap it and done and tested once I know that it's gonna go straight and not tear anything up I ordered some v-band housings for my turbos so I'm not gonna have to cut these off and put t6 flanges on there and that'll allow us to be able to turn those turbos and clock them how we need them without having to worry too much it'll give us a lot more range of of motion there being able to turn the turbo this way or this way now are we doing coil on plug with us so we're going to figure out two where we're, we're going to put the back. amount of coils at i was thinking about if depending on how that weighs where we come we might be able to put them here mm -hmm. <clears throat> ultimately i'd like to put them down on the frame rail down here but I don't think we're going to be able to on this side. Just because of the way the steering shaft and stuff is, that way the, the wires come up from the bottom instead of having to go down and around. But that's all little stuff we'll figure out. And so yeah, we got uh, OG Murder Novus headers on now. They look great. I, I still can't believe those are the headers off that car. Like this They've fucking... seen a lot of shit. Yeah, you could tell. They're freaking awesome. <laughs> he was even saying that he was going to send me the 60 millimeter precision gates. He wanted me to 
wanted my address to ship those. I was like, wow. That's incredible. I mean, I'm pretty sure those have uh, seen a little shrapnel through them, too. Probably. <laughs> We know the OG got all the boost. All the boost. So you're gonna get ready to attack those on? Yeah. From there. Right there. So take your, you got it at 87, right? Mm -hmm. It's right there where you want it. So mark your tabs. Then you know that. Yep. Remember months ago when you got your water and you were like, I'm going to keep practicing so that one day I can weld all the stuff on my Nova? Well, today's that day. Penetration? Definitely got good penetration. You got, I'd say you're perfect. Probably get, you can stand to turn down just a little skosh. Well, I think it was because it was too too low of heat and I was having to sit in the same spot for too long to get it to Yeah, you got great. It looks good. Yeah. And if you can, just get a couple tacks. You know, go down, you don't have yeah. to go clear down in the middle, just try to, just to give it some rigidity on this side a little bit. Yeah. Job, dude. Looks killer. It's definitely different fucking trying to do it on a car rather than just sitting here doing a piece of steel. Not bad. No, not bad. Probably need a little less heat, but it's pretty good. Not bad for never doing it. Are they both at, you said they're at like 87 degrees or 86 degrees? Yeah. Did you check that one yet? Yep. They're both at 86? Yep. Damn. Good. good shit. So this is the exhaust housing. Uh, it's a T6 flange. And in order to make these work, we would have to cut off this V-band flange and weld a T6 flange on here, which we can do that. But I would like to be able to clock these back and forth easily. And with a T6 flange, we can't really do that. Once we weld it in place, it's kind of just the way it is. 
So I think it would be easier if we just got some V-band housings. And actually the V-band housings are supposed to be lighter than these. A lot less bulky. And they're uh, stainless steel, so they'll look really good. Uh, rather than this cast deal. But I think it'll look really good. And uh, I don't. Not... I don't think we've ever even showed off your turbos. Yeah, I don't think so either. Do you still have one that's together over there? It's in the box. I've never seen one with the with the exhaust housing off. Yeah, so that's the exhaust wheel, and then you can see both of them spin. Hmm. Do you see that over there? It was real close, but I don't think it hit. But we don't have up ride height either. No. When you raise it up to ride height, it'll be different. It's sitting on the bump stops right now. You want to jack the ass up and pull those out, and then yeah, we can do that. That's probably gonna be about right height right there, probably, huh? This is a little high. The raccoons go all the way up and adjust the fucking yeah. I'll tell you what, it's got quite a bit for... Mm -hmm. It's got a fucking ton. It's got a lot. It's off right there. Right there. Wow. It's got more travel than I thought it would have. That's got a lot of fucking travel. I'd say that's seven or eight. <laughs> we got We got all of the travels there, bud. We'll put a small bump top. I mean, look at the way the car's sitting. You can tell just by, like, it looks like it's launching. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's in a wheelie right now. Right, it looks like it's in a wheelie and the, the tires are yeah, really, a centimeter off the ground. Yeah, I really need my spanner wrenches. We're not here. Yeah. I almost grabbed them today. Damn it, Kenny. I'm not sure why I didn't. I meant to tell you to grab them too when I fucking talked to you. <laughs> You want to show us your shock work you did here? Yeah, sure. So, turned out a lot better than I thought it would, would for the first thing I've ever welded on this car. Seems to be pretty sturdy. Not bad. <laughs> Not too bad. We got them even this time instead of one being way higher than the other. That way both shocks have the same amount of travel and um, they're not hitting the headers. This one's just barely hitting the control arm but I don't have it completely at ride height yet. It needs to come up just a little bit and it's really not hitting too bad at all. So I think we'll be in good shape. So now you're just waiting on a converter. Yeah I'm uh, Waiting on the converter, I gotta fill out the checklist for Hughes, and then I'm waiting on the V-band housings for the turbos. Once I get those, I'll put them on, and then we can bolt the turbos to the headers, and we'll work on mounting the turbos, and then making the cold side. And once we do that, I mean, we're gonna be pretty far along. Those headers really saved us a lot of time.
making those ourselves would have taken a lot longer. Oh yeah. They are large. They're 88s, right? Yeah, 88 on the intake side. And then the exhaust side, I'm not sure. So are you pretty impressed with the travel that you got out of this thing? Were yeah. you expecting that? Yeah, I'd like to. Is there any way we can measure, do you think, how much it has? Need to get a wider lens. Seven. Eleven and a quarter. Eighteen. Yeah, something like seven inches. That's what I said. Yeah, about seven. You had to do the math for that. I went to Watkins, dude. <laughs> I think it's got more than the Falcon too. Or just no, no, no. I don't think the Falcons got much more than about six and a half. Hell no. You're getting in his feelings, bro. You better watch it. It's I know it's got nine inch travel struts, but we can't get all nine out of it. We were still like three inches from getting all nine out of it. I won't have it. I won't have it, Captain. All right, Chief, close it up. Let me think about what I was gonna say. Did you get any good video of this? I did. Sweet. That's the best looking part of the whole car. Did you wanna get a <coughs> thumbnail shot of me holding that turbo? I will. Okay. <sighs> ready? Been ready. All right. All right, so we made some good progress today on the Nova. Um, got both headers on, and we got both shocks mounted where they're gonna be. Um, we got our Wilson manifold on there. Waiting on the V-bands for the, the exhaust housings of the turbos, and uh, once I get those, put the turbos on, mount them, and then we can start working on the cold side. So. I think tomorrow we're going to come back and work on getting the steering correct with the bump steer kit. Um, after that, we can start working on plumbing some things, figuring out what we're going to do with the fuel system, um, maybe figure out what we're going to do with the radiator, water pump, all that. Um, we'll go from there. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.